How's it going, guys? Rulinal here, coming back at you with another Python tutorial addressing once more our beloved module, Colorama. And this time we're installing Colorama. We're gonna actually get ourselves started to get the ball rolling with this module in this library. And uh, we're on Windows right now. We're gonna go ahead and try and install it on Windows. So uh, you guys probably saw in the last video I was online actually uh, looking up the package from the Python package index and getting some information about it. And you probably saw that download link. <laughs> and yeah, you have some pretty good eyesight. You were able to see that download link. That is a good thing. Alright, so I'm going to get my uh, web browser open, Internet Explorer is going to take forever to load, and we're going to go to Google, you know, because I want to be able to find that Python package again. So, you know, pretty cheesy, Python, because I can never spell that correctly, Colorama, or at least I type too fast and I get it wrong, and Colorama is right here for us, and we're going to look for the download link. So, uh, right up here we've got a downloads little segment there, and if you click on that, it brings us straight down here to the very bottom of the page. You can see my scroll bar is pretty far down. And I'm going to actually go ahead and want that Colorama 0.24.zip. That should be pretty easy to extract and uh, work with, because Py uh, I'm sorry, Windows already has uh, a zip manager installed and like ready to roll and work with. So if we click on that, we can go ahead and save Colorama. And, you know, it's going to have to download and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll put it in my downloads folder. And, oh, that was faster than I thought. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm just, I'm just playing, you know. All right, so we're going to get our Explorer, Windows Explorer open, not Internet Explorer. I mean, I know there's sort of confusion there. I mean, for typical new users, you never actually know which Explorer is what Explorer. I mean, between Internet Explorer, Windows Explorer, Dora the Explorer, there's just so many Explorers, like... Um, I was going to make a historical joke, but then I couldn't think of one. All right, so now that we're in our actual package for Colorama, we've got this zip archive right here. You can see it's a compressed zip folder. I'm going to go ahead and want to extract that. If we right-click and do extract all, then, yeah, we can just go ahead and, I guess, put it in our desktop. That's a good spot for it. So, yeah, I'll head right over there. Copying. All right, all right, cool. And now that I'm in a desktop, you can see that we have Colorama, and it's ready to go. So this uh, setup.python is what we're actually going to be working with to set things up, but README will probably tell you that. There's the description and everything. It should likely cover initialization. Oh yeah, it did cover initialization, but I mean installing the program. Uh, I guess it doesn't. <laughs> it should be pretty evident, though, that you have to run setup.python. So we need to be able to run setup.python, but it takes an argument. So we can't really just call it from within uh, our, our idle, or our Python interpreter. I am going to actually use, though, Python interpreter. Oh, I don't actually have Python installed right now because I was going to show you how it all worked. Oh, man. All right, I'll just go ahead and do that real quick. All right, guys, sorry about that. Uh, just a little bit of a delay. I kind of forgot that I hadn't actually got it installed and everything. But, you know, we improvise, we work with it, and whatever. You can probably see down at the bottom right, though, that it actually took quite a while to install. But, I mean, you know, it's typical Windows. It had to actually load the question as to whether or not I could give the installer permission to install. <laughs> could you imagine, like, if if you hired a maid and the maid would come to your house every day and then ask you if she had permission to clean your house, you know, what you're kind of paying her to do. Like, <laughs> all right, I don't, I, don't, I, don't even, I don't even know. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and actually import the sys module, and the sys module is going to be able to tell us where our Python interpreter is, because we need to be able to invoke the Python interpreter from the uh, Windows command line so we can actually pass in an argument to run this, um, you know, installer for Colorama. So if you guys have seen some of my other videos, we're actually kind of tying in a whole lot of stuff that we work with, because, I mean, we've got um, sys module work going on, we've got the Python module, um, I'm sorry, the Python language work going on, and we're even going to be using Batch with the Windows command line to actually install the program, and at least install the module. So you guys are probably going to be getting a little bit of a review <laughs> if you've seen some of my other videos. If you haven't, I totally recommend that you do so. Anyway, we're going to import sys, and I want to know where my Python interpreter is. And it's in C, Python... W this thing, all right, all right, whatever, we, we know where it is, great. So if we get CMD open, it's going to take a while to find it, because you know, it's, it's, it's hard to find. <laughs> all right, 
and I'm gonna actually gonna change directory to my desktop because that's where I know where the Colorama folder is. Colorama right there. It's a dir, and uh, we can go ahead and go right in there as well. And what I'm gonna do is type in that uh, path name that we saw right up here. Now remember the backslashes are escaped backslashes, so it's actually Python 27. Python, and it's simply python.dxe, not python.w.dxe. That's only running because idle is running. And we're going to use python.dxe, and we're going to pass in setup, so we run that, and we're going to actually pass an argument to install. And we're going to run this, and it'll do some stuff, and boom, Colorama is installed. So I'm actually just going to restart idle. And if I do idle python gy, and I import Colorama, it finds it, and it does not have any errors. Colorama exists. It is well within our reach, and we're able to use it. So it's pretty awesome. It's uh, it's a little bit of a weird, confuzzled, conscrutled, and lots of lots of other funny words that don't actually exist. Um, it's a process of actually getting Colorama installed. You are working with the command line, that sort of thing. But all you're doing is running the Python program with an argument. So easy enough. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I apologize for my own idiosyncrasies and foibles throughout the, the video, but <laughs> we all get along together in a happy-go-lucky ring around the rosy, you know?